This lesson will show a free online TVM solver that can be used to solve annuity and loan type problems. In order to use the solver though, we do have to gather the information shown in the table below, where capital N is the number of compounding periods. And this is the total number of compounding periods, not the number of compounding periods per year. I percent is the annual interest rate or APR as a percent. PV is the present value, which is the principal or beginning amount. PMT is the payment amount, which must be equal regular payments. FV is the future value, which is also the accumulated value or ending amount. P slash Y is the number of payment periods per year. C slash Y is the number of compounding periods per year. And at the bottom, we always set payment to end. Let's gather the information that we need from an example of a savings annuity. Starting at age 24, you save $200 per month. You invest the money in an account that pays 5.5% annual interest compounded monthly. What will the account balance be when you are 65? Let's first figure out how many years from age 24 to 65. So the time t in years is equal to the age of 65 minus the age of 24, which is equal to 41. So the total time you'll be saving in years is 41 years. And since you are making monthly payments, and the interest is compounded monthly, capital N, the number of compounding periods will be 12 times 41. And 12 times 41 is equal to 492. Next, you save $200 per month because you are paying this amount each month into the account. The payment amount is negative 200. The account pays 5.5% annual interest and therefore I percent is 5.5. The present value of the savings annuity is zero at time zero because the beginning balance is zero until you start making your deposits. FV, the future value is what we are solving for after the 41 years. Let's put a question mark here. And payments per year and compounds per year are both 12 because the payments are monthly and the interest is also compounded monthly. Now I do want to mention sometimes they won't mention how the interest is compounded, but we always assume it's the same as how often the payments or deposits are made, which in this case again is monthly. And again at the bottom we always set the payment to end, meaning the payment is made at the end of each compounding period. Now let's go ahead and go to the free online TVM solver, enter the information and solve for the future value. Notice how the variables are the same as in the table. So once again, capital N is 492, I percent is 5.5, present value is zero, payment is negative 200, future value we are solving for. Before we solve though, notice how payments per year and compounds per year are already set at 12. If we had to change these, we would use the drop down menu. And the payment is already set on end at the bottom because payments are made at the end of each period. So we go ahead and click solve next to future value. And now we know at age 65, your investment account will be worth $370,311.01 right into the nearest cent. So once again, if you save $200 per month, the account balance will be $370,311.01 when you are 65 years old. I hope you found this helpful.